well, uh, hello, I guess. I, don't, I honestly don't think anyone uh, probably watches anymore. But, uh, yeah, it's been like more than three months since my last recording. And I had an extremely minimal audience before. But, yeah, and this, obviously, if you can... If this program is working, a new recording program that I'm using, then you should be able to see that this is not, in fact, Civ 5. But uh, a very popular game, uh, extremely well, not extremely recently, that came out about three months ago, around the time I stopped recording. And, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm extremely late on trends, so I'm going to be playing it for myself. But, uh, actually, I've already know how the game ends like I've seen other people play it but there's there's a lot of things that I missed like especially near the beginning in the first act so I'm going to be playing it for myself uh, I think that this is a game I'd be using a face cam but I'm kind of self-conscious about that so we won't be and uh maybe this video will get views and uh if so I hope I guess you enjoy it will be probably longer, closer to an hour. I don't really want to make like a 10 part series playing this game because this, this game, it, it does take a while. So, uh, especially the first act again. But uh, yeah, I'll try and get it done in like maybe three or four one hour sessions. Because uh, I will try and narrate everything. But it's honestly, it's a psychological thing because I know it's that my Civ recordings because. After I recorded my last video, um, I played a single player game because I really wanted to be immortal. Just I had to do it off camera because I don't really have time to record in the winter. That happened the year before too. I think I like stopped recording for around three months. But yeah, and I actually did beat immortal, and it was even better because I beat it on two cities and I got space victory. So uh, if I do record Civ again, which will probably be closer to this spring. Uh, It'll probably be, like, with domination only to make it, like, just to spice things up, I guess. I don't want to try deity yet. I'll have to, like, get super good. But, uh, back to this game. Um, yeah, so, yeah, again, like I said, I do know how the game ends. I just, there's stuff I haven't done yet. So, uh, I'll try and see if I can find anything new that I don't know. I already have, like, a path set out, but I won't try and spoil the game. I'll... I'm going to stay away from that because somehow, miraculously, if you're watching this and uh, you haven't seen the game yet, then obviously I don't want to ruin that experience. But yeah, so it's been about like three minutes, so we should probably get started. I had more things I wanted to talk about, but I just don't want to waste everyone's time for those who are watching. I wouldn't name myself uh, my YouTube channel name, but I'm actually not for a reason that will probably be. I'll probably get to near the end of the game. I'm just going to name myself MC for main kit. Nah, that's boring. That's, uh, I'm, I'm, conf I honestly have no clue what to name myself. Let's just name myself, uh, I don't want to do like a stereotypical Japanese name. Just, it, it doesn't matter. Let's, perfect. Alright. And yeah, I'm going to try and narrate everything. So, uh, I'm not going to change voices because, I don't want to strain my throat too much, but I honestly think I've already talked about like how it'll, it'll, I'll play the game slower this way, and not only that, um, I think I'll like I'll I'll spend more time and I'll like notice more things. It's it's hard to explain, but I it's just I get to experience it. It's a better experience if I uh, slow myself down, like verbalize everything, and that's mainly why I record. I don't really record for uh other people's entertainment, I would say, because there's tons of other people who are better at doing that, but mainly for uh, just a better experience while playing the game. So, and I apologize if this uh, program is really laggy. So far, I can't see anything, but uh, hopefully the mouse isn't like chopping all over the screen when I do this. So, hey, I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Now, the main character, myself, which is Josh, won't have quotes around their text. Just throwing that out there. And the other people will have their name, obviously. 
That girl is Sayori, my neighborhood and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. Well, it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. And I'll try, won't interrupt uh, from now, from henceforth, like, now until the end of the video. I'll only do it if, like, there's a cut in dialogue. I won't, like, interrupt in the middle of a, like, text scene, I guess. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I'd get tired of waking up. This is relevant later in the game, but I'm not going to say anything right now. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> Jeez. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Josh. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. I really shouldn't use the name of someone I know in this, because it's going to sound like weird the entire game. But I'm not going to change it, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Let me just check something real quick. So yes, I can pause. Perfect. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. God, I hate the main character so much in this game. That's that's not the point of this. Uh, -hee -hee. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Josh, have you detect have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you'd join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry you likes to worry a little bit too much about me. When I'm perfectly content on just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. What a loser. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but i die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. A neat, I forgot what it stands for, but it's basically like someone who doesn't socialize. And then, uh, yeah. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Well, I don't know why I keep moving the cursor. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me want, makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Also, forgot to mention this, but on every single recording I've done so far, I have not had some sort of headphones plugged into the headphone jack. But this time I'm using crappy free Apple earbuds. So uh, that I just have so many like non-controllables. Or well, no, the non-controllables. I have so many control, like different factors. I'm using a new program, a new game, I'm testing new audio. So if this goes perfectly the first time, then I'll be extremely happy. All right, I need water. Throat gain dry already. Uh, yeah, I've seen that, or I've read that. A school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry, wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello, Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Also, apologize if my speaking is, like, slow and lethargic. I've just had lunch, even though it's late in the afternoon, so hopefully the water will help that. Uh, honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well... I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, you know what? Well, that you could come to my club. 
Sayori. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. So, and I'm not going to like exaggerate anything because that's really obnoxious. This is like a multi-person household and I don't really want to do that. I'm pretty sure no one can hear me, but we'll see. So you're always vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring in a new member. And Atsuki made cupcakes and everything. We don't, you know, we don't know Natsuki, why? Why are you telling us this? Eh. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have all of this planned out, or planned all of this out. You know, I'm I'm not even gonna correct myself because if you're watching this, you can read it, or you should be able to read it, unless this is somehow audio only, which that would not be good. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake. Okay. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, I should really have someone else. I should really at least try to differentiate the voices a little. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Well, you sold your soul at the beginning of the game, but still. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the classes I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. I don't know how school years work in Japan, so. In America, you have four in high school, so. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Girl one, welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. That's pretty interesting to hear about. Girl two, seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, jeez. The renderings of these characters are much higher than I thought they would, so hopefully it doesn't lag up the coin. This isn't a powerful, or exactly a powerful computer. So. Girl 3. Ah, Josh, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Oh, that's us. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Well, girls like this don't exist in real life, so. Uh, girl 2, what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki, which is girl two. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, or other reasons that we'll touch on later. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Sayori, you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Jesus. Sayori says that quietly. In, oh, all right. Sayori says that quietly in my ear, then turns back to the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy, and this is Yuri, the smartest in the club, which is girl one here. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people in sa like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? I do, but the MC does as well, the main character. Monica, that's right. It's great to see you again, Josh. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me feels so, ge so genuinely, feels a little... Oh, there we go. All right, we're back. Uh, I've also have to say before I continue. Um, after this game, which will probably be done before like springtime, which is when my normal schedule is, and I'll probably be able to upload some videos then. But I might try a new game called Town of Salem, which it's not really new. But I don't want to do like FPS games because 
I'm trash at those. Uh, Town of Sam, like, there's not, like, a professional Town of Sam league, so compa- I won't be, like, bad compared to other people. I'll just be, like, average. It's kind of like single-player Civ, so. Well, actually, no, that's a lie, because there are tons of better people at single-player Civ, but. Anyway, let's get back to the game. I've already read this. E- you too, Monica. Come sit down, Josh. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I really wish I could sit next to Monica, but unfortunately, I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. There's like 25 desks in this classroom. How do you arrange a table? As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Closet's already open. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Wow, what a beta. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Well, I'm, I can say this because I consider myself like a closet beta, but that's uh, it's, we, don't, we you don't need to know that. Let's see. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! What? Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with ice and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. Hate myself. If I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. So he grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. Not sure if that's grammatically correct, but probably is. I'm not. The person who made this game is a lot more. Is a lot smarter than me. Sayuri, it's delicious. Sayuri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcakes around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Well, I don't think they sell cupcakes like that, so... Yeah. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why are you thinking me? It's not like I made them for you or anything. Yes, I have heard this one before. Ah! Predicted it. Of course. Eh, I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know, you dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. I haven't joined any clubs in my time at high school. I don't have time for because of like sports, but I, I'm not sure whether they're like this or not. But I, I assume they're similar, but or at least some like of the smaller clubs are similar. But I don't know. We'll see. Or, well, I won't see, but other people will. Uh, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I'm not sure whether I should say their name before, but maybe I'll start. Josh. Ah, I guess. It, it will help for those who, like, aren't paying attention, I guess. Or, like, listening to this and not looking at the screen. Monica, eh, don't, li- don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Yuri, eh, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away, and I won't, if it's, and if it's, like, narration, I just won't say anything. If it's dialogue from the main character, then, uh, I'll say the name. Monica is always looking at you. I just noticed that in her neutral position. The only one where she doesn't when she's, like, leaning forward, which is not a natural position. I'll, I don't know anyone who does that. Yuri, I meant me that you know. Josh, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Why would that's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yuri, I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. Monica, so what made you consider the literature club? Um oh Josh, um I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Oh, what do you mean? You should totally tell her about that. 
Josh, well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... Monica, that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? I should really do, like, streaming, because I don't edit these at all, but... Uh, maybe, maybe when I have my own time. Monica, as president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Josh, Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be board member for any of the major clubs. That's true. But uh, we'll get to that reason later. Josh, weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Monica, uh huh. Well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. <clears throat> I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Sorry, Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Josh, and I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club, you think? Monica, you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. My screen is so dirty, but thankfully it doesn't that doesn't get on the screen recording. That's not how it works. Uh, Monica, you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before you graduate. Well, is it three or four years in Japan? It's probably three. Right, everyone? Sorry, yeah. Yuri, we'll do our best. Natsuki, you know what? There's, I think there's only two times or three times in the game where all four girls are on the screen. Three that I can count. This one, one that should be somewhat soon, and then one later, like in Act 1. And there, there are th three acts to the game. Just You don't have to worry about that now. Or at least I think there are three. There's three acts that I can tell apart. So Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Uh, yeah, she did. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. That's the laptop. Yeah, this laptop is, uh... Yeah, it's working hard right now, so... Yuri, so Josh, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, this probably always gets me. Well, ah, uh, considering how long I've read these past few years, I don't have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. I expect her to be like, what, what'd you say? But nah. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Found the nerd. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Yuri. Oh, I forgot to say that before. Oh, well. I can't, I can't bash on people who read manga, because I don't even read in my spare time. I just read for, like, school stuff. Josh, whoa, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. I want to describe that as sad more like, like, not even disappointed, just like, I don't know. Don't listen to me, I'm going to, Josh, anyway, what about Yuri, Yuri? Yuri, well, let's see. Instead of giving a genre, she gives the entire speech. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. So, I'm not sure that's true, because, like, you can't just read and not interact with people. Yuri, but you know, I like a lot of things. Like, even, I would consider myself more of an introvert. Kind of like how I'm a closet beta, but I still, like, interact with people. But then I guess I don't really have a choice with everything I do, but I guess it's different. St Yuri, stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Josh, ah, I read a horror book once. Why would you say that? 
How is this this person? I hate the main character. I just really grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having conversation with a rock. It's better to make people feel like they're appreciated than to, to try and like throw them off by saying, ah, yeah, I read that book once. Like, just listen to them speak. It's, it's a good feeling. Monica, really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. You're like 10 seconds late. For someone as gentle as you. Oh, uh, it's, uh, later in the game, we'll, we'll see about that. Yuri, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to an our world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Natsuki, ugh, I hate horror. Yuri, oh, why is that? Natsuki, well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. They, they looked away. What do you mean to me? Never mind. Monica, that's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea, Natsuki? Uh, so yeah, I guess Monica's... Well, I read somewhere that she's always directly looking at you, but clearly all three are. I'm pretty sure what they meant is she's directly facing you. Let's see. Monica, you left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... I I really wish. If there's a mod that, like, fixes all, like, the random things that, like, people would like to know in the Act 1, then I might play it. I have this on the computer, so I might try mods there, and if one of them's interesting, I might record it, but I have to beat the game first, which I'm not close to yet. Well, you don't really beat it, but at least complete. Natsuki, don't say it out loud. And give that back. Monica, fine, fine. Sayori, ah, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I think this is the only time where two characters overlap. Like this, at least. Natsuki, I'm not cute. Fang, and then the... I'm not even sure what those are called. Like, I have the buns on the keyboard, but... Yeah. Josh, Natsuki, you write your own poems? Natsuki, eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Josh, I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Natsuki, n -n no. Natsuki averts her eyes. Natsuki, you wouldn't like them. Ah, or Josh, ah, not a very confident writer yet. Yuri, I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest breaches of your heart. Well, you all will do that soon. Monica, do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Yuri, uh, blank. Josh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Sorry, aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Monica, okay. I have an idea, everyone. Question mark, Natsuki and Yuri. Why did I even say that? That's literally no dialogue. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Monica, let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Natsuki, um, Yuri, nothing. Sorry, yeah, let's do it. Monica, plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comf comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. So, I guess there's four moments where all characters are on the screen. Monica, isn't that right, Josh? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Josh, hold on. There's still one problem. I don't know why he says this right here. Here's, this is what happens when you don't socially interact with people. You don't know what to say. Monica, eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining to a club, we're not. You forced this. I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said that I would join this club, Josh. Or Josh said, I, don't, I should really do this before because it makes it sound like they're talking to others. So I already may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls still back at me with, stare back at me with dejected eyes. Monica, but... Yuri, I'm sorry I thought. Humph. Sorry, Josh. You all, there should be a mod where he doesn't join this club and does something else. That'd, that'd be cool. Uh, I'm defenseless against these girls. 
How am I supposed to make a clear head decision when it's like this? You just say yes or no. It's not that hard. That is, if I'm writing poem, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Er, Josh, right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. They all lit up at once. Sorry, yes, I'm so happy. Sorry, wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Josh, hey. Yuri, you really did scare me there for a moment. Natsuki, you really just came for the cupcakes. I would be super pissed. That's exactly what we did. Monica, and that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Josh, ah, thanks, I guess. Monica, okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Only 30 minutes. I'm going way too slow, but that's fine. I, I'll do as many videos as I need. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. And I'll probably do an hour every day because I don't want to spend like, I don't want to do it Sunday only and then spend like a month playing this game because it's not like Civ Five where there's no new content. Like, they could update this at any time. They could make the second game before I finish, which that's uh, on a later note. I shouldn't have said that, but... Monica looks over at me once more. Monica, Josh, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> if only I could do the Monica route, that'd be... Oops. Josh, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? They're not even mediocre. You haven't written. You have no skills. My, I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Sayuri, hey Josh, since we're already here, do you want to walk home with me? Walk home together? Of course. Second best girl. That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Josh, sure, might as well. Sayori, yay. Back here. So, she lives here and I live here. Alright? This is like suburbs. Hmm? With that, the two of us depart the classroom and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the full four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. This is the third time they all appear on one screen. Three times within the f first day. Will they really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Oh, well, probably not, but we'll see. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Or all. Why not? Why only one? Why limit yourself? All right, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Mini game poem time. Uh, so basically, um, how this works is, uh, well, it says it right here. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Basically, like. If you write a poem for Yuri, which has complicated words like vertigo, secretive, nightgown, or at least I assume those are her, I wouldn't know. Yuri has like cute and like, I don't want to say this, but like short, well, I didn't say what I was thinking of saying, but in like short words like doki doki, flower, child, I'm, childhood might be Sayori. Sayori's are like in between. And I'm I'm gonna go try and go for Sayori because the entire first act is really the only choice. Well, or at least those are the choices that affect the outcome of the game. The second act, it doesn't matter what you do, but or at least it shouldn't. There might be some secret I don't know, but if I go for Sayori, there will be scenes where, like on the second day, there's a scene where either, or maybe it might be the third day, but you. Depending on who you like, uh, who your poems like are directed towards. If I write a poem that Sayori will like, I'll unlock scenes with Sayori, and I'll like. Basically, they're not really scenes; they're images. Be well, they're obviously scenes with the dialogue, but pretty much, if you get images for one character, and you don't really want to do like one poem for a different girl each day, that's not really going to get you anywhere, but. There's, there's multiple endings for this game, and one of the endings you have to get every single image from each character, and the images will be at the end of the first run game, because there's literally a program, or like a code in the game that's like titled first run, and you literally can't get the best ending with it on the first try, so I'm just going to take it slow, 
But uh, yeah, since this is a the main core mechanic of the game, I guess, I, I might as well spend time talking about it. So, yeah, I haven't... So yeah, I'm going for Sayuri. I'm going to try and unlock all the images. But let's see. Childhood. Good. Family. Good. Uh, play. Good. Uh, suicide. Two bit. That's not her. Uh, by the way, I I know that, but shouldn't be saying anything. Puppy. God damn it. This is gonna be. What's? I think I have to get the simply the most. But I'm friends. Uh, beauty. Uh, adventure. Uh, this might be easier than I thought. Nature. Uh, heavens. <laughs> that's not her. Uh, fantasy. Ah, this. Uh, I. I really hope I don't screw this up. How do I save again? I don't, I'm not sure I can save here. Can I? Oh, I just have to click save. All right. I. I. I'm not even sure I can load a save in the middle of this. Together or happiness. Um. No, not unstable. Rain cloud. No. Wait. All right. Yeah, that is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Dance. Love. Uh, I don't think he is it. Uh, or it might be. Let's try. No. Yeah, cute. Ah. How, how do I literally said the first time it wouldn't be. I don't know why. Candy. Uh, I I hate this game so much. It's a. Ah. Oh, pure. I'm. If. I, I better not screw this up. I'm going to be so mad at myself. All right. Um. Sunset. There we go. Embrace. Uh, not vivacious. Peaceful. Uh, ambient. No, nah, that seems. Uh, party. There we go. I've got like at least fifteen, so I think I should be fine. Um, ah, see, doesn't matter. Let's go. Uh, shiny. Ah. Well, I'll know because I'll unlock the images for Sayori. Sayori, if I did it right. Monica. Hi again, Josh. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Haha. Ha. Josh. Nah, no, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Jeez, you better haul ass out in the hallway. Jeez. Yuri. Thanks for keeping your promise, Josh. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Not to oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Sayuri told me you didn't even want to join Eclipse this year. I just remembered. This game is a graphic warning. Well, first off, it says age 13 plus. Not for sexual content, just throwing that out there. Because this is this is a normal dating sim or visual novel. It doesn't it's not like that. Steam wouldn't sell it. But yeah, just a graphic warning for like anyone. This this won't be here, but in Act 2, like uh yeah, that's when it starts up. So just throwing that out there. Because I don't want like some random person to watch my video where I haven't seen. I'll 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 say it before the graphic parts come on. So, yeah, or at least the very first one, because that's the worst one. I'm pretty sure. I, oh, I didn't read that. Oh well, you I spoke for like thirty seconds, so you guys can read that. Natsuki and last year too, and the year before. Oh wait, no, I'm only second year, huh? Because I forgot they said third year, implying I wasn't a third year. Natsuki, I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. Well, that's exactly what you're doing, so. Natsuki, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Well, we literally won't see it. Well, Monica, Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Ah, uh, Monica, <laughs> destroy Natsuki. She understands that, like, that's basically all Natsuki does, comes here to hang out. Natsuki, <laughs> Not, Natsuki finds herself stuck between seeing Monica and manga. Well, they sounded like Natsuki. Manga is literature. Anything you can read can be literature. It doesn't. I can read the keys on the keyboard, and that could be literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Actually, why I just was wrong. That's. I shouldn't try and be philosophical. Sorry, don't worry, guys. Josh always gives it his best, as long as he's having fun. I somewhat doubt that, given who we've seen the main character is. Sayuri, he helps me with the busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Yuri, how dependable. 
Josh, Sayori, that's because your room is so messy as a distraction. Listen, this is why I hate the narrators or the main character so much. She, like, compliments us, and then you, like, respond by, like, attacking their personality. Like, who does that? That's not... How, how are we friends still? I don't understand. And you almost set your house on fire once. So, is that so? <laughs> Yuri, you two are really good friends, aren't you? I would not assume that based off what you said, but... Yuri, I might be a little jealous. So, Yuri, how come? You and Josh can be good friends, too. Yuri, um... Josh, Sayori... Hmm? Or Sayori? Josh. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. That's not weird. There's nothing wrong with being friends with people. I don't know. The main character's like, this is what happens when you don't have social interaction. Sorry. Oh, Yuri even bought me something new. Brought you something today, you know. Yuri, wait, wait, Sayori. Josh, eh, me? Yuri, um, not really. Sayori, don't be shy. Yuri, it's really nothing. Well, I mean, it's something. Cause th that's what she said. Josh, what is it? Yuri, never mind. Yuri, Sayori made it sound like it's a big deal when it's really not. No, she didn't. She just, she literally said she brought you something. Yuri, uh, what do I do? Sayori, eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. I'm not really thinking, I'm just reading script. Josh, hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. I'm pretty, that's like basically an insult. Why would you even say that? It'll make me happy, no matter what. Yuri, is that so? Josh, yeah, I won't make a big deal of it if you don't want it to be. Yuri, alright, you, you can't say that if you haven't seen what it is. Yuri, well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. Well, he, he not only does he not usually read, he doesn't read. <laughs> that's People say him... Like he's bad at reading. He doesn't read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. That's not how normal people act. No one in this club is social interaction. Except for maybe Monica. This, this is. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? It's not an accident, dude. She even picked out a book she thinks I like. Despite me not reading much. That's a complete lie. We'll see in the book. Josh. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Yuri. Phew. Well, you can read at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Uh, everyone's out in. I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't appear to be the case. So you and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this to happen. I'm going to go for more an hour. I'm genuinely enjoying this. I think I would have enjoyed it more than not recording, because I would have just basically skipped everything so yeah I guess happy for me meanwhile Natsuki is rummaging around the closet man American in American schools you don't usually have closets in the classrooms or at least where I go maybe in science classrooms but not like man it looks like no one wants to be bothered today I slumped down in the nearest desk and also in American uh, education or at least in our school, we have a prioritized non we prioritize groups, so that's why we sit in four and not in rows. But I guess that's made people like relying on the group, which that's somewhat good, but you still need to be an individual. If this were an anime, the main character would sit here, just look out the window, guarantee it. I don't watch anime, so I guess this game could help bridge because I know it's it's not like a bad thing, but it's sort of like it's it's an acquired taste. I guess that's well. That's why I assume it is. I haven't seen it, but why am I talking about this? I have to replay the game. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? Just read. How do you? What do you mean keep occupied? Just read it. I guess I could have always read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. You, it's literally just words. Like I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening on Sayori's conversation with Monica. You don't do that. It's not a thing you do. Sorry. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the art clubs, though. Monica. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. If only we could see that soon. 
Baca. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. Then just call it like book club. Why, why would you, literature if you say literature club, it's going to seem that way, but book club seems a lot funner. Monica. But it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing to everyone something that speaks their creative minds. Sorry, mmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Monica, eh, what do you mean? Sorry, even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know. And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori's talking, taking this really seriously. She, it's because she's the vice president. It's rare to hear her deliberating, deliberating like this. Monica, huh? That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? That that does, I guarantee you, that does the trick. And, or at least, I shouldn't really be talking about American schools because I don't even know, like, the school structure. This could be, like, this isn't middle school. This could be, like, college. Sorry, what kind? They could be a commuter school, for all I know. Monica, ah, well, I guess we could. Sorry, cupcakes. Monica, ah, good thinking. Uh -huh. I'm not getting these, like, fr noises, right? Monica, Natsuki would love to do that. Sorry, ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. Sorry, that works out perfectly. Monica, that wasn't why you suggested it? Sorry, cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Monica, well, there's our people who need food here. Not just you. Monica, cupcakes it is then. Sorry, I'm hungry. Monica, anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. You're not, you're not, you don't know that. Well, you would, but your eyes are closed. You're sleeping. In the end, so you're still your usual self. Well, we'll see about that. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all. So you can put her mind to think, oh, Jesus Christ. That was bad. Terrible. Sayuri can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Like, just do stuff. Like, it's not that hard. Like, you, you can be reading your book right now, but instead you're sleeping. She isn't even that close to us. Why are you surprised? Why? I open my eyes to find Sayuri's face filling my vision. This is not filling your vision. What are you talking about? Jesus. I nearly fall off my chair. Sorry. Ah. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. It is. Why are you sleeping in, in a club? Just imagine if you go to a club just to sleep. Like, you can go home and do that. Sorry. This isn't the napping club. Josh. Does our school have a napping club? Sorry. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Because he's... Too busy watching anime. Sorry, now that you're in the club, you're going to have to have less time for anime. You know, ha, I called it. Well, there's nothing really else he could have been doing, but... Sorry, there could be, but I'm not going to say it. Sorry, you'll need to get used to it. Josh, don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see a Monica overheard. Even in games like this, anime is still, like, taboo. Like, you have to keep it secretive, you know? Uh our school is an anime club, but I don't think anyone goes in there just to be like, ha, you're all nerds. That better not happen. Just mind your own business. No. Let's see. She have, she hasn't overheard. She would have appeared on screen. Sorry, it's true though. Josh, yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. Sorry. Ha <laughs> It's one of you best. This, this is a, what's the relationship type? Like in science, mutual. Like, even though Josh appears to be taking care of her, it actually goes both ways. Josh, that's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. Well, we'll touch on that later. Josh, you're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh, sorry. Not every day. Josh, that's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? Sorry, that's... It's a secret. It, well, it is a secret, but we'll find out. Josh, I knew it. Sorry, come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. Josh, I can't even do that. Why is the main character this way? I hate this. Josh, look, Sayori, it's written all over you. 
Sorry, eh? Sorry glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? Josh, you're clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair's sticking out all the way around here. Sorry, ah. I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair trying to straighten out. I hate, I'm also confused. The main character goes from like super reserved to doing stuff like this. Like, normal people don't do this. Or I guess I may, I may not be a normal person, but we'll see. Josh, man, you really need a brush for this. Sorry, my hair is just really hard to get right. Just shower. How do you... Oh, my God. Use shampoo. Just, it's not that hard, Josh. I won't fall for that. It's more than just your hair. Josh, look, your bow isn't even straight either. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Josh, and there's still toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. Yeah, people don't do that. Sorry, but no one buddy would ever notice that. That's a lie. Why, why would... Josh, of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about because they don't want to embarrass you. That's not really embarrassing. It's just, why would you really care? I mean, there's obviously a dress code here because all the girls are wearing the same thing. But it's not strict because she... Look at... she the Well, I, I guess this bow. He meant this bow. But there's a bow right here. So, I mean... Josh, fortunately, I really don't care about that. Well, you brought it up. What do you mean? Sayori, heh, you meanie. Josh, and you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Sayori, eh? Also, you don't say that. Why? No, Jesus, the main character. Sayori, that's super mean. And he said, I, w I wish you would just hook up with Sayori right now. Josh, sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Josh, once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. This is what I talk about when I mean the image. Also, you would never do this in real life. You don't. You just don't. So, if I would have gone the Yuri route, there would have been an image for Yuri. And if I would have gone Natsuki, there would have been an image for her. And these are like not excluding when you share poems. They obviously say they like your poem. Well, I shouldn't have said that because we haven't. But it will be like in the next five minutes. So, they'll say they like your poem. Well, Natsuki won't because she's like, she doesn't want you to know that. But the others will. Monica's always like neutral because you can't write a go down a route for her. But yeah, so there should be, I think it's one image per day if you go the characters. I guess if you're going the good ending, you can like go like out of order, but that would just make things super complicated. All right, let's get back to this. Oh, Jesus. This hurt is hurting my head. The angle. Jesus. I have to like tilt my head. I'm just going to get through this as fast as I can. Yo, what is the proportions? Is she? Oh, I thought she wasn't wearing shoes and she was just wearing socks. Actually, hold on. This is really interesting. I have never seen the character's legs before. Wait, no, it's a lie. It's on the title screen. Why did I even say that? But in game, I've never seen them, so. Sorry. <laughs> this is so funny. Josh, what is it? Or what is? Sorry, well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Josh, eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. Should have said baka. Because you know I watch this anime. Sir, it's okay though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? I am I doubt that, by the way. Josh, ah. I guess. Sorry, hey, be careful. The one might come off. Well, then you should get a bigger blazer. Or just not button it up. Josh. Why is this one so hard to close? Ah, oh, jeez. Well, well, who knows? Magic. I don't know. I struggle to fully close the button near your chest. Josh, does this thing even fit you properly? Sorry. <laughs> it did when I bought it. Sigh. Wait, your second year. If you ever bund it, would you have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore? Josh, what are you smiling about? If the school doesn't even require you to button it up, why would you button it up? Pain. Sorry, it means that my boobs got bigger again. Another thing on the list of things you don't really say, but it's it's sort of obvious, just not it's implied. You just don't really have to say that. Josh, don't say that out loud. Well no one's listening, so it's not really out loud. Sorry. <laughs> Josh, anyway. You look much better now, so ah. Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? Uh, why are you asking yourself this? Because she's never bonded up before. Sorry, but it's so stuffy. Uh, 
It's not worth it at all. Sayuri hastily unbonds her blazer once more. Sayuri, phew. I wonder if there's a mod where it's just her with a buttoned up blazer. This isn't something I should say, but I swear in the close-ups their boobs look bigger. Or at least hers. Sorry, that's so much better. Sorry, puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? That's not how this works. Josh, what kind of logic is that? Well, you just said it. I don't know what the main character is. Josh, and why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Sorry, because... If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. Listen, what kind of boyfriend wouldn't let you... Well, I have to actually get super possessive ones, but if a boyfriend won't let you, like, your friend do that, it'd be different. Because, like, even though that's something you shouldn't do, it'd be different if it was, like, like more intimate. Like, let's say they were, like, picking out clothes together and they were, like, naked or something. I don't know. But that'd be understandable. But if, if your boyfriend doesn't let you do this, that's just he's being possessive. And you take care of me better than anyone else would. You gotta give your significant other freedom and autonomy. But if they screw it up, then just don't even bother with that shit. That's how it should work. And that's how it should be. But people apparently want to hang on to something that won't work. Like the new Star Wars, you just have to let go. Oh, I didn't read that. But, sorry, so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Josh, stop saying all these embarrassing things. How's that embarrassing? That's a compliment. I don't know what the main character is on about. Sorry, eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Yeah, she's right. What? Josh, jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Sorry, only if you can focus on going to bed earlier. That's a fair trade-off. You should take it. Josh, fine, fine. It's a deal. Sorry, eh, eh. I guess we really are better t at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Josh, yeah, I guess so, huh? Sorry, so maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You should totally do that. Josh, you're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, but I was joking that time. Seriously, the main character should do that. Just throwing it out there. Josh, man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Monica, okay, everyone, we're trying to have a conversation here, Monica. Why you can't just barge in like that? Well, I mean, you can because you're Monica, but that's not something you should normally do. Josh, eh? I've also heard that Monica's thing is, well, we'll learn later that her thing's piano. So whenever a piano is playing, she's like listening or like she's at least aware of like what you're talking about. But I'm not sure if that's actually true because if I listen, yeah, there's no piano. So, and she's literally right there. Monica, why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Sorry, yay. Sorry, Josh, I can't wait to read yours. Josh, yeah, same. I fail to sound enthusiastic. How do you fail to sound enthusiastic? Just, Jesus. But Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. Monica, by the way, do you remember to write a poem last night? Josh, yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. You didn't have a choice. If you want to be in the club, you have to write the poem. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. You just, Monica, well now that everyone's waiting, why don't you find someone to share with? There's a wonderful photo that's like someone made it where it's like he hands the poem to Yuri and it's like, what do you think of my poem? It's literally just a list of words. And she's like, what the fuck? But yeah, I'm sorry. I can't wait. Sayuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayuri's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. They're literally the same type of paper. I, don't, I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. He must have, like, super eyes. Eats a lot of carrots. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly complies while reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Alright. It honestly doesn't matter what order you go. Let's go Monica first. Obvious reasons. Best girl. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem. And I want her to know I'm putting in effort. You don't have to reason, like, why you're going with someone first. You just do. Alright, it's full. I... It was getting dark for some reason. It's probably because it's getting darker outside, but... Monica. Hi, Josh. Having a good time so far? Josh. Ah, yeah. Monica. Good. Glad to hear it. You know what? I'm not going to go for, like, spec specified amount of times. I'll go probably till the end of this day. Because I don't want to go to, like, an hour, 32 hours and notice that, like, the recordings have been, like, messed up. But I also don't want to stop in the middle of something. That's not really a good thing to do. 
Monica, by the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities, there's the piano, or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Literally, what I just said about the piano, you're always listening. Monica, don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Josh, all right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Monica, anyway... Want to share your poem with me? Why do you think I went up to you? Josh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. How is it embarrassing? Just give them the poem. Monica, ha, ah, don't worry, Josh. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of Barry that we'll all learn to get past soon. Well, not really, but theoretically, yeah. Josh, yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. There's the affirmation that we did it correctly. I'm not sure whether it has to be simply the most. So if you go five, five, or no, if you go six, six, and eight, and like eight for Sayori, I'm not sure whether that does it or you have to get above ten for one. So just play it safe, get as much as you can. Josh, is that so? Monica, you and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. We do. Yeah, we do. Josh, ah, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. That's not true? Monica, mm, well, actually, no, it is true, but... Monica, well, that may be the case. Monica, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. There you go. That shows she cares about us. And the main character... Wait, wait, what he's going to say after this. I guarantee you it's going to be something, like, terrible. Monica, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when I'm reading your poem. Josh, hmm, you sure you're not reading into it too much? Why would you not just agree with her? Why is the main character like this? Monica, ah, I could be. Oh, gosh, I sound like Yuri. Well, how do you sound like Yuri? Yuri doesn't talk. But in that case, I always write as a kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell she does like exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? About that, uh, Josh. Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Monica, well, to each their own. What was the quote that communists always use? Like, from, from those ability to those who need or something like that. I don't know. Monica, and you should be afraid to... Ex you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. Josh, I'm sure I'll end up trying some different things a lot. I'm not going to let that happen. You're going to write what I want. Josh, it could be a while before I feel comfortable doing this. Well, you don't have a choice. Monica, that's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or everything, or anything. Well, that's what the main character is trying to do, but I don't care for any of that. Because I can impress Monica, so who else would I impress? Sayori? Obviously, that's the next best choice. Josh, aha. Monica, anyway, do you want to read my poem now? I do want to read it. I'm very intrigued. Don't worry, I'm not very good. That's a lie. Josh, you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Faking confidence is an important attribute. Monica, well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. Josh, I see. Well, let's read it then. And I love how... Uh, I'm I'm cl trying to read the poem. I, l I love how it changes. Little things like this in the game. It changes the music when you have each individual character's poem. I like that. Congrats, Team Savato. You made a good game. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See? The direction the spackle protrudes. Is that spackle? What does that even mean? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It wasn't just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite chaos or choices. Well, chaos is also a good word. Uh, I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. 
and he on the other side was looking in. Well, uh, I honestly never knew that our first poem was like so like deep. I thought it was just going to be like, well, obviously he says deep, but I thought it was just going to be like something she wrote down for the main character, not like describing her situation. I'm not going to go too much into that, but uh, on the other side, and he was looking in. That's important. Monica, so what do you think? Josh, hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Why can't you just say it was good? Why do you, why do you have to pretend to be a professional? Josh, sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Monica, aha, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. Monica, that is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Monica, when performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Josh, what was the inspiration behind this one? Monica, ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. You wouldn't. He wouldn't understand. Monica, I guess you could say that it's some kind of epiphany recently. Are you sure it was recently? It was pretty sure it was a while ago, but it's been influencing my poems a bit. Well, I mean, that poem described your entire epiphany, so I mean, Josh, an epiphany, Monica. Yeah, something like that. It's a lot more, but we'll learn that later. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. And he also won't understand, so maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Or, anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy up later. That's why drafts exist. If you try and write something without a draft, it's always going to go poorly. Or not always, but most of the time. And another way to think about this, it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. It's very, it's much appreciated, Monica. You were clearly taught, it seemed like you were talking to me and not the main character. So, appreciate that. Next, Sayori. I don't care for Yuri or Natsuki. They're, they're, if I had to rank the characters, Monica's a 100, Sayori 90, and Natsuki Yuri down at like 20. I don't care for them. Sayori. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Josh. I know, because I wrote it for you. Josh, eh? Sayori, I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Josh, Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. Why would you say that? Josh, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Sorry, well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Or what you don't like. Just Sayori, ah ha ha. Josh, jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Doubt it, Natsuki. Josh, are you sure you don't like it because I wrote it? Sorry, eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Josh poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. That's what poems are supposed to do. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. I just got out of a cold, so that's why I planned on doing this yesterday, but I didn't. Josh, you're so weird, Sayori. Sorry, yeah, ha, ha. that's not weird. Well, I mean, hugging it to your chest is weird. That's not something you do. Just, Sayori, I'm really happy that you wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Well, I mean, this was established, like, yesterday. Not to mention the fact that I'm saying, should I even read? I'm not going to read anything in parentheses. I'm just going to. Why don't. That's what I was thinking. Josh, er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. So, you already see? It's like I said before, Josh. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. So, you're trying new things like this for other people. And that's something that only really good people do. Josh, thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. You, why do people have ulterior motives? Like, I know why people do in real life, but in something like a literature club. Why, why are you like this? Then again, 
I can't deny it, she's probably the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all, Saro, yeah. If the main character didn't join the anime, the uh, literature club once in the anime club, God, he would be such a loser. Not, like, literally, your best friend wants you to join a club. Why would you not join it? If you're unsure, well, you, I'm not going to read too much into this. Sayori, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Josh, all right. I'm going to hold you to that, then. Sayori, yay. Now you'll read my poem, too, right? Of course, I'm going to read it. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that, Josh. Oh my god, I read the last two lines. Gotta read the top. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me off bad, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. The sleepy from my eyes. That's... What? Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. I'm pretty sure this is directed towards me, but... Not me, but the main character. Aw, oh, jeez. But anyway. Yeah. So Monica's was... It appeared to be directed towards almost me, but this appears to be directed towards, like, the main character, not me. Josh, <laughs> Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? Sayori, no. Just a little bit? What do you mean, just a little bit? How does that even work? Josh, you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. You would be, you would be surprised how many people answer that. So anyway, I forgot to do it last night. Josh, well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. So anyway, don't be mean. I still tried my best. Josh, ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. You didn't say that. Why would you? Josh, it came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. That's, <sighs> Jesus, the main character in this game. Josh, yeah, especially that last line. So anyway, I made eggs and toast. Josh, even though you were late to school? Sorry, it's bad skip breakfast. This is true. It's different if it's like people walking in like 15 minutes later with like coffee. But if you're like making actual breakfast, like that's nutritious. Like you shouldn't be penalized for being late because you'll be more tentative. If you have like eggs and toast, like yeah, that's like a good breakfast. If it's something better, like if you had like eggs, potatoes, bacon, that would be even better. But I know I don't make my own breakfast, so I make like microwave breakfast. So anyway, I get all cranky, Josh. Well, I guess there's no point arguing. Why would you argue? Anyway, how, thank you for showing me. Sorry. Uh, ha, ha. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. What does that have to do with this? Well, that that's a true statement right there, but Josh, ah, yeah. Sorry, but next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Josh, well, I guess I look forward to it. That's not true, because I write the best poems. There are 20 words that are written. Natsuki or Yuri? Natsuki is third, or Yuri's third best girl. I almost got the order mixed up. Sorry if you like Natsuki. I just don't like her. Yuri. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. I'm going to pass this more than enough time for her to finish reading. Just say something. Josh, um, Yuri. Oh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um, Josh, it's fine. Don't force yourself. Yuri, I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. That's called thinking. Yuri, hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? Yuri, I'm just making sure. Well, I mean, it's a first time writing in general, Yuri. I guess that might be after reading through it, Josh. Ah, so it's that bad. Why would you say that? Yuri, no. You're just fishing for, like, compliments then. Yuri. Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. She's not doing that. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gone anywhere. Why are you wasting so much time? It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. Josh, it's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Yuri, right. Um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. 
I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. I'm pretty sure this is true, by the way. I've, I've, I've written for like an English class for how many years? Well, that doesn't really count. <laughs> I still do this. Once a year, he finds a train of thought. It's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone. She sounds like an expert. Because she is. That's all she does. Yuri, of course. That's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Why, why would you say that? Josh, biased how? I know you two hate each other, but that, you don't say that. You don't try and... That's how to get the person to like not be with you. You have to let the other person throw dirt on, on you. And then that'll prevent... Just, these people like no social interaction. Yuri, um... Well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Yeah, you shouldn't. Sorry. Josh, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself or me or Natsuki. Josh, do you mind if I read your poem now? Yuri, please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. It is. This is the first time, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? It is. Like the music. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. It's like the opposite of a haiku. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I can't read cursive, but I'm trying my best. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickens. I flicker back. Or is it flicker? Yeah, it's fl Whatever, it doesn't. <coughs> oh. Yuri, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. Josh, what? I wasn't thinking that at all. Yuri, but it took you a long time to read. It did not. I don't, Josh, ah, uh, well, I just don't read script very often. Josh, I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Yuri, eh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem, Josh. I should say. I'm keeping in this. I'm going to make this mistake forever. Josh, even though it's short, it was really descriptive. Yuri, it wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Josh, not at all. Yuri, I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I, read to wa I wanted to write something a little more mild. I'm not even going to dive into these poems. I didn't even know what hers was about. I know somewhat what Sayori's and Monica's was. Josh, are you into ghosts, Yuri? Yuri, hoo-hoo. Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Josh. I didn't even know it was... I. Geez, I'm even worse than the main character, Josh. Really? I must have totally missed the point. You did, fool. Yuri, well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. You just complained about how long we took to read it. What do you mean, glance over Yuri, but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences into their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. This doesn't really relate to Yuri, so... Josh, that's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive, Yuri. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Yuri, just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Josh, yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying, Yuri. I'm counting on you. Natsuki. Last one. Natsuki. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. Okay. Okay. Josh, that's a little blunt. Natsuki, well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. You implied it was bad. These people, I swear. Josh, so basically it's not cute enough for your tastes. Pretty much. Natsuki, do you want to get smacked? Josh, I'll pass. Should have said, try me, bitch. Natsuki. Sigh. 
Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. That's true. Not ski. Not that you'll like it. The music and the sim the, the like lack of words in the music always hit me hard. Like it's just so funny. It's hilarious. Ah, oh, that's. I remember the first time. I think I had to pause the video. I was watching someone else playing it through because it was just, it was so funny. Combination of the like simplicity, like the bareness of the poem plus the music. Ah, oh, geez. Eagles can fly, and that's the title. I'm not gonna read the titles from now on, or I'm I probably still will, but just know that the top is a title. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Howls can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Uh, guarantee she wrote this in like a minute. Natsuki, yeah. Told you that you weren't going to like it. Yeah, I hate it. It's... Josh, I like it. No, it's not bad. But, like... Yeah. Natsuki, what? Just be honest. Josh, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? This is how you should interact. Like, he needs to learn how to interact better with everyone. Natsuki, well... Because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously, Josh. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. That's, yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Josh, yeah, I understand. But the only other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Not true. Like, I set up a rhyme at the end, but may it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. Natsuki. That's what it means to be a pro. You're not a pro. You're a first. Natsuki, I'm, or at least I assume so. She's so much smarter than everyone else. But that could be in our reason. I guess... Natsuki, I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? You don't even know... Well, I guess you know her second year, so... Yeah, I guess she is a first year. Yes. Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that co last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. That's how you should be. Like, you don't do that with Sayori at all. Jesus. Josh, phew. I guess that's everyone. It took so much longer. It's like an hour and 20 minutes in the recording. Jesus. Glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is literature club after all. That's because you just throw 20 words on a poem. I sigh. I guess it's, that's what I expected for getting myself into. Cross the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri Natsuki. Aw, oh, Jesus. This, this day is going to take forever. They gingerly ex exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Natsuki, what's with this language? Yuri, eh? Um, did you say something? Natsuki, oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Yuri, ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Why is Natsuki always start start shit? Oh my god. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Yuri, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Natsuki, yeah. I'm gonna get water real quick. Lots of dialogue coming up. Natsuki, yeah. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Yuri, um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Natsuki, hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked that. That's not how it works in life. When you ask people for suggestions, you need to ask people who, like, who actually give you suggestions, not say, like, just touch up. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Josh did, too. So based on that, I gladly give you some suggestions of my own. God, I hate Natsuki so much. First of all... Yuri, excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon unless, uh, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. You shouldn't establish a writing style. It should evolve over time. You should, Jesus. Which I haven't yet. 
Natsuki, mm, Yuri and Josh like my poem too, you know. <coughs> he was even impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Music change, Yuri. Eh, that's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Josh appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. I don't care about either of you. I want to get to Monica or in Sayuri. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Yuri, I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of the way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Natsuki, ooh. Sorry, um, is everyone okay? Natsuki, well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew size bigger as soon as Josh started, so no. I'm gonna, the second play, the second playthrough, Act 2, I'm gonna actually see that. Like, I can probably eyeball it, but I'm pretty <laughs> Yours got smaller <laughs> when I came in, Jesus. Yuri, Natsuki? Monica, oh, Natsuki, that's a little, yeah, you should, why are you saying this? Jesus, Natsuki, not in Yuri. This doesn't involve you. I'm pretty sure you're, you should have gone to Monica for help. You not know how to play people to your size. So I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Yuri, Josh. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. Natsuki. That's not true. She started. No, you started, Natsuki. Jeez. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Natsuki, what's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out to the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Just use brain power, Jesus. Help me explain that to her, Josh. Yuri, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Josh? Um, well, not in Yuri. Josh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? Because you just stood there and watched. You didn't do anything. It's not like I know anything about writing. Well, that's true. But remember, I agree with you. They'll probably think more highly of me. So, of course, that's going to be Sayori. I don't care about these two. J Josh, Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me. You dry up any words in my mouth. Why are you intimidated by a first year? So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri? But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Music. Sayori. Eh? Josh, yeah. Everyone's trying to make Sayori uncomfortable. Why would you not say, like, Sayori, help me instead? Or, like, something like, why are you guys doing this? You have to say, everyone's trying to make Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fine when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Sayori, Josh. Natsuki, well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. Yuri, I agree. It's unfair for artists to interject their own feelings into our conflict. That's why you guys turn to me. What do you mean? Can't only use that for your own agenda. That's, yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what stuck up jerk she's been. Yuri, she would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Natsuki, excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes Sayori. Stop. Not in Yuri. Sorry. Natsuki, Yuri. You guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they're just paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Natsuki, because... Yuri, well... Also... Sorry, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's proofs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. You, why do you say that? Natsuki, Yuri. Josh, Sayori... Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. She's not even in the picture, the frame. Yuri, I'll make some tea. What? Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. Josh, so this is why Sayori's vice president. I whisper to Monica. You could say that before, like, whatever. She nods in return. Monica, to be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Ah ha. Josh, nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Monica, well, I guess that just means Sayori's amazing in her always, isn't she? She is. 
Josh, you could say that. She might be an airhead. Why are you like this? But sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. Well, it's because she's not an airhead. Why would you call your childhood friend that? Jesus. Monica, I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. Unfortunately, the main character isn't too good at this. Just That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. You can. Monica, okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How do you all feel about sharing poems? Sayuri, it was a lot of fun. Yuri, well, I'd say it was worth it. Natsuki, it was all right. Well, mostly. You're always like, why is Natsuki like this? Monica, Josh, how about you? Josh, yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Monica, awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Josh. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Sayori. I'm not giving the main character a choice here. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Sayori. Josh. Ready to walk home? Of course. Sure. Let's go. Sorry. Ah, ah, ah. Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent so this much time together. I can't really say that I'm not enjoying it either. Why would you not enjoy it? Josh. Sayori. About what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? Josh. You know, between Yuri and Natsuki, does that kind of thing happen often? Sayori. No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. Sayori. I promise. They're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? Josh. Well, I mean, I hate them, but the main character, Josh. No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Sayori. Phew. You know, Josh, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in this club. I agree. The main character, what's he going to say? Anyway, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. Josh, that's... Sorry. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Josh, sigh. Looks like Sayori still hasn't caught into the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Yes, it does. Just Well, I mean, no, it doesn't, but because the main character is, like, oblivious, he it does. Josh, well, we just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. <laughs> I said that more to myself than her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Why would you say that? Or why would you even think that, Sayori? Okay. Yeah, let's do this. All right, poem time. I'm going to save here. Can I save over? I guess there's no point. 1733. That's military time. All right, so uh, I can access the same here. Yeah, just return. Anyway, I'm going to end the recording here. It's been an hour and 30 minutes, which I wanted to go for an hour, and then I realized an hour and 30 would probably be better. I honestly don't expect anyone to finish the full hour and 30 minutes. Just, it's, I, I don't want to break this up in like a 10-part series where I play Doki Doki for 10 different parts. I just wanted to get it done. Because like Civ series, if I go for an hour each video, it'll still be like 10 videos anyway. And uh, So yeah, this is different from Civ. Probably as far away from Civ as you can get. But I just I feel like I need a single player to game to play. Like a single player only game. Like after this, I mentioned like a while ago, I tried out a game called Town of Sam, which I probably will once I finish this game, because I don't really want to mod the game. I mean, there are a few interesting mods I might try, but uh, particularly Monica's After Story, if you heard of it. But gameplay mods, I don't necessarily want to try, or at least I would rather be doing a new game. But I will see, and uh. Let's see, so if, I'll, I'll probably start recording again during the spring. And I'll probably stick with five. I'm going to wait till the expansion comes out for six, and I'll record after that. I might delete my old Civ 6 game, because I've played a lot more Civ 6 since then, and I've actually did pretty bad in that game. I was I had the wrong type of outlook, so. But Civ 5, I'll probably continue that game eventually. And uh, I think I can win that game. But if I start a new game, it'll be domination only, because I know I can win a science victory on Immortal. I just have to play my cards right. So, yep.
I, I think this would take two more. I don't think it'll take more than two more. It'll probably take one more episode to finish Act 1, or one more part. And then the last part, I can probably finish Acts 2 and 3 in that. And then I, I might make a fourth one to like go over secrets in the game, because there are lots of secrets in this game. So, uh, yeah. This was a game that was two years in development. Like you, Something this simple wouldn't take two years. They added lots of stuff, Team Salvato. And, uh, yeah. Just going to save one more time. Can I save over things? Oh, yeah, you can't override saves. All right. But, yep, um, hopefully this recording went perfectly. I added so many, like, new factors into it. So, uh, yep, we'll see. And uh, I won't be able to – I don't think I'll be able to record tomorrow. But uh, the day after, Tuesday and Wednesday, I should be good to record. Maybe not Thursday and Friday, but we'll see. We'll see. So, yep. Uh, that's it for today, I guess. Um, I don't really have to, like, end it quickly anymore. Like, the save videos where I need, like, a certain outro, but, yeah, I guess that's it. So, uh, yeah, and the reason why I'm recording on the laptop and not the computer is because, uh, I guess because I have a lot more space now for recording. Oh, jeez. Oh, I, I thought I almost did something, but anyway, that's it for today. Tuesday it is, then.